It is early in the morning and the concrete crew is ready to start pouring a stiff mixture of material into the forms and begin the process of preparing the walk for stain and stamps. Here they make sure to keep the reinforcing steel grid in the center of the mass and distribute the concrete throughout the forms and plane the walkway with the screed. These are the stamp patterns which the homeowner pre-selected. This is floating the concrete with the Fresno tool. Frank and Nate float in stages of the color hardener repeatedly until all the green concrete is completely covered with several layers of the pigment. Then, when the pigment is thoroughly applied, they are ready to sprinkle a thick layer of antiquing release agent, being sure to fluff the powder before Curtis, application. Curtis is watching your every move. Hey. <laughs> What does it do, Frank? Then he carefully selects and lines up the starter stamp so that the walk will match the existing porch at that seam. Frank and Nate start pressing the texture sheet into the edges prior to laying the stamps on the product so that if any stamps aren't making complete contact around the edges this will ensure a uniformly textured finish product. Frank then places the starter mold onto the walk and the rest of the stamps will connect with it to form a closely matched pattern and he works his way down the walk while leapfrogging the pattern molds along the way. Them all. Oh, okay. oh, it's pretty good on the computer. They end this phase with uh, tooling the grout lines to more clearly define the pattern. They then covered the walk with construction film plastic sheeting to protect the work while it cures. Frank returned a couple of days later and rinsed the excess antiquing release agent from the finished stamp sidewalk.